Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Like, <laughs> this looks like somebody took acid and played new Super Mario Brothers. Like, this is exactly what they would probably see. Hello, that is Void once again. And today, Nintendo dropped their June Direct. And I have to say, one of the best Directs ever. And I think we need to talk about it. So let's talk about it. And let's start with that Pokemon Pay DLC. Now, it's no surprise, it's no secret that I bought Scarlet and Violet and I enjoyed myself with it. It was fantastic. It had a lot of problems, but I think, you know, for me personally, as somebody who, you know, have played Pokemon for a while, who lost touch with it for many generations and returned with, with uh, not with Scarlet and Violet, but with Sword and Shield, um, I was very excited for Scarlet and Violet. And uh, obviously I was let down by a little bit, but, you know, looking at the Teal Mask and looking at um, the Indigo Disc, I kind of got really excited. It was one of those things where, you know, it actually looked like what they were promising up front. If you, you know, like all these backgrounds, all of these, you know, nice, calm scenery, it looks a lot more lived in than, say, the actual open world that we got from Paldea. You know, which, I mean, both disappointing and, I uh, guess, expected. So, from what I gather, this particular, the very first one, the Teal Mask, will be set in a more rural environment. And you definitely see it a lot here in this trailer. And I think that, you know, there's it looks like there's a lot to do here. Um... I'm getting a lot of very, like, when we were getting an open world Pokemon game, I thought this was kind of what we was going to get, you know, with all of these, like, the houses feel very comfortable, they feel very distinctive, um, it kind of feels like the older ones, which I'm, I'm really excited to see them pull that off, um, overall, I'm really excited for both of these, um, DLCs, oh, right, the Indigo Disc, so, Basically, this is um, in the middle of nowhere, in some ocean somewhere. Um, this looks pretty, pretty wild. Honestly, I didn't really expect it to be like this. Um, like I am, I was not expecting this whatsoever. Honestly, I don't even know what I was expecting. But one of the standout things here is that I feel like the game does run a little bit better, and I guess that the oh, one we also saw the introduction of older pokemon as well i am very interested to see um just how good the game will run now i feel like it might be much better because even going off of these yeah i know this is probably a, a development machine that we get in footage from but honestly it kind of looks much more playable than what we got which is i know saying quite a lot um but anyways that was Pokemon, um, the Teal Mask and Indigo Disc. We also got some teasers of like some of the Pokemon as well. Overall, I'm kind of excited for this, but I don't think that um, I'm going to hype myself up yet. There's still a lot um, that I need to learn about it. And I don't know if I'll be buying it day one or not. Um, I hope that in the end, the Game Freak manages to do right by us and actually give us something worth the money that we paid for. I mean, I had my fun with Scarlet and Violet, but I would definitely like a little bit more out of it. I guess we're not leaving Pokemon Land just yet. Honestly, when this aired first, I honestly thought we was going to get like a new Pokemon Legends game. But then all these buildings showed up and I was like, oh, it's not. It's Pokemon in a city. Now, I never played Detective Pikachu and I've been told um, that it is not good. Um, although I've heard online that it was good. So I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be like, but I definitely want to pick up um, Detective Pikachu. I Honestly, I didn't even watch the movie, the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. Um, but honestly, this kind of looks interesting. Um, I did like, well, I didn't get to play, but I'm very interested in playing Lost Judgment and Judgment. And, you know, these open world-esque, crime solving mystery um detective type games i think there's a lot of potential there and i am really excited to see just exactly what they do with these um characters like 
it's kind of weird to have Detective Pikachu solving, a, well, a Pikachu rather, solving a random crime. You know, it kind of, it's kind of like a funny notion, but at the same time, I'm down for it. You know, I definitely want to um, check it out and try it out. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts on it now, for now. Oh boy, Andy, one of the big guns. Oh, Nintendo came out of absolutely nowhere. Um, a couple of days leading up to this direct, I saw people were talking about um there might be a remake of a old um Nintendo game and it might be um book um, Super Mario RPG. And then whoa, well, we actually got it. And I mean it's like whoa, I did not expect that. I poured hundreds of hours into this game back when I was like what, 10, 11, 12. I mean, I was playing Tony Militas. Don't tell nobody. And you know, I, I really enjoyed my time with Super Mario RPG. I think it was, that it was a really a lot of fun. Like I don't even remember, um, the end of it honestly, you know. But I know I enjoyed it a lot, a lot, a lot, you know. So I am super excited for this, and I think that I think the the, the animation looks really well. I saw somebody um comment that it, it very much like the claymation that they had originally used in the first game. I could see that a little bit, but I really don't have an eye for that. But to me, it looks really fun. It looks really um engaging. It looks like it's a real good um remaster. Uh, well, a remake in this case. Um, I hope that we get like extra stuff in it as well. You know, because you know you updated it, it might as well. Um, but other than that, you know, I think. I, I am like super excited for this game. I think it is coming out later this year. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff for the second half of this year. So, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Um, but, you know, I I am really, really excited for Super Mario RPG. It looks like it's a really good um remake. So, I'm definitely interested in this. I'm just going to touch on this briefly. Um, because I will be talking about it more in my weekly Voidcast. You can subscribe for that. Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Um, they dropped a D- uh, they dropped a new DLC, a paid DLC, as well as the demo. I went to the download demo and I was like, "Whoa, this is a really fun game!" Like I played the first one, I own it, and I was I was I had a lot of fun in it. I never completed it, but wow, the <laughs> the Sparks of Hope is such a is such a such a a, a departure from the first one. The mechanics are like so much better, so much more fluid, and a lot of the story and thing is like is real story now. It's like very, very expressive characters. Um, I'm actually like I really enjoyed the demo, and like I don't know, I just don't feel like being Ubisoft for this, but it is a really good game, and you should probably check out the demo at the very least. So that's also I'll say about this for now. Um. Right, this is another big um one for Nintendo. I think this is Nintendo's biggest game for the remainder of the year. Um, Pikmin Four. Now, I'm a huge fan of Pikmin. I never got to play the original Pikmin One and Pikmin Two, um, but I bought Pikmin Three, the remaster for the Switch when I first got my Switch. It was one of the first games I bought, and I absolutely loved it. Like I killed that game. Back to front, I think um I think it's like a week I took and I beat all the whole game one hundred percent it. I had a lot of fun in Pikmin Tree. I thought it was it was such a fun, unique um experience. It was such a fun, unique take on real time strategy. And you know, they showed off a lot of stuff here in Pikmin 4. They uh like they showed us a lot of the new mechanics, they showed us um the character creator a little bit, you know, there was like, oh, we could go into the night now, you know? Um they spoke about the new friends we'll get with this big fluffy dog. And it definitely looks like we're on Earth. So that was be a pretty interesting thing. Oh, and you could float now because we could go through puddles. Like, Pikmin 4 looks like it's going to be a really good, strong evolution of the game. And I'm like, bro, this is... <laughs> Look, the Game Boy. And like, I am completely... You know, I, I absolutely love Pikmin. So... And like you have houses, you're exploring. I mean, this is clearly it. Um, and not only that, but you also have the underworld, which kind of looks like instance the dungeons kind of way. Honestly, the game shaping up like it has a lot of stuff in it. And not only that, but like, um, 
this whole thing, like, it still have more to come, you know? So, that's pretty, it's, honestly, I am super sold on Pikmin 4, and I think it's going to be a great game. I don't think it's going to be for everybody, obviously not, but I think for those of you who like Pikmin, um, you're going to absolutely love it. I think that's what it's going to be. Or oh, it'll have a multiplayer game, right, right? If you don't like Pikmin, or if you've never heard about Pikmin before, I highly recommend that you check it out. So, later on in the Direct, they also announced Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 HD, um, which you can buy it separately or as a bundle on the eShop. I would recommend you try one of them. Although, to be honest, I feel like starting with Pikmin 3 is probably his best option because there would be, you know, so much more. Like, it had a lot of quality of life stuff. And I haven't played Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. So, I will definitely recommend trying it out. I think Pikmin 3 have a demo. You should go and download it and try it out. But yeah, I am super hyped for Pikmin 4. Can't wait to see what else the game has to offer. Now, the real showstopper. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Like, <laughs> this looks like somebody took acid and played New Super Mario Brothers. Like, this is exactly what they would probably see. I, bro, I saw this immediately, and I was like, I have to play this. I don't even know what's going on, but the characters so expressive, the colors, they pop so much. It's like a brand new lifelike um, game. Uh, but I mean lifelike. I mean, it like, all the characters just come to life so much. They have so much personality. Every little animation, every little enemy, you know, like even this flower thing, it just it just makes the game come alive to such an extent that like I saw it and I was like completely taken aback. Like this is I didn't think that they could do a a Mar a 2D Mario like after um Mario Makers, like what else could you even do? And then we get this and I'm like, that's insane. This is insane. How did they even manage this? Um this looks amazing. Everything about it looks stunning. Like it just looks so clear. And I I heard I saw other people say, you know, it looks good here, but imagine how it's gonna look on your actual TV. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is one of those games that it, it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> um also the game has all multiple other characters that you could play as, which is a pretty good thing. And <laughs> Oh, yeah, while I was here, I completely forgot that Princess Peach gets her own new game as well. They haven't really announced anything um, regarding that, other than it is in development, along with Luigi's Mansion. So that those two were pretty good, but I am super hyped. I'll actually, I'm super hyped with Princess Peach as well, which I'll probably talk about more at a later date when we get a little bit more information around it. But I am absolutely, I am super excited for this game. I know this whole video was just me saying, I am super excited. I am super excited, but I am really excited. Honestly, Super Mario Bros. Wonder looks pretty damn good. I mean, and it's coming out this year, you know? So I think, oh, and he turns into an elephant, right? Uh, that's that's a pretty interesting gimmick. Um, but yeah, I am I'm excited for this, and I can't wait to see. Like, it's not the best. I know a lot of people wanted other stuff, but I am super excited for Mario Bros. Wonder. Okay, so that was Nintendo's Direct. I didn't talk about everything. I feel like, you know, you probably get that from other places, but those are my things. Those are things that I think were super fun. There was a couple other stuff that, you know, I thought was interesting, but I didn't really want to talk about it because I think these demanded my attention the most. Um, there's definitely um, room to improve for some things. I know people was, you know, really hoping to get Metroid Prime, but uh, I don't know. I think that. Metroid Prime 4 needs to be held back for the next generation console. There's a lot of questions here still, but honestly, Nintendo looks like it has a pretty decent second half of the year. Um, it will probably be carried by Pokemon and by this new Super Mario Brothers game. Uh, although I am worried that that might push um, the console development for late 2024 now. I think that will be when we'll see the next console, maybe even early 2025, which it's kind of insane to think about, but I think that's what's going to happen. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Nintendo's Direct, which honestly I think is fantastic. 
and thank you all for watching and i hope to see you all around also if you made it to the end of the video um drop a little emoji tell me give an emoji of a flower and tell me what you think will be the best part about super mario brothers wonder thank you all very much the void call and you have answered